forget that Wallace and Gromit's next film is going to be interactive, because that's the way technology is going now. And it won't be long before you can watch a film, any film, and press a few buttons and change anything that you like. The actors, the script, the plot, anything you want. That'll be good when that comes out. Just think what fun you could have with Towering Inferno. Towering Inferno could start with a cigarette end smoldering in the bottom of a waste paper basket. Somebody comes up with a cup of coffee and goes, Phew, that could have been nasty. <laughs> it's endless. The thing is, is endless. You could press a few buttons and become your own casting director. Jack Nicholson is Bugs Bunny. Or is he in A Few Good Men? Son, I have a responsibility greater than you could possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. <laughs> but Santiago's death, while tragic, probably saved lives. And my existence, while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties, you want me on that wall. You need me on that wall, Doc. <laughs> we use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as a backbone to all I spent defending something, Doc. You use them as a punchline, so I don't give a damn what you think you're entitled to. Did you order the code wed, wabbit? <laughs> Not long ago, I was lucky enough to be shown around uh, a special effects department in a film studio, and I was amazed. And it made me realize just how far special effects have advanced since those black and white sci-fis of the 50s and 60s. In those days, you only had one sci-fi sound effect, and it was a sound. You'll recognize it as soon as I do it, I'm sure. <laughs> Grandfather, there's a man coming out of the forest. Bring my shotgun, Martha. Dung rascal's got funny eyes. And now, Star Trek. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. Back on Earth, aliens have somehow taken over the White House. The Clintons. <laughs> Dr. McCoy, what information do we have on the Clemtons? Well, Jim, according to our medical records, the leader of the Clemtons is the one known as Bell. <laughs> and because of his uh, <clears throat> unusual medical condition, <laughs> some call him Banana Bell. <laughs> Oh, and uh, then there's Hillary. What's a Hillary? Wife, Jim, but not as we know it. <laughs> All records on Hillary Clinton have somehow been erased from our data banks, Jim. How convenient. Mr. Spock, what information on the Clintons do we have locked in between your falcon ears? According to my memory, Captain, the leader of the Clintons is indeed called Bill. He has a voracious appetite for power, wealth, and especially pleasures of the flesh. <laughs> he cannot smile correctly. His face is stuck in a permanent half-smile, neither happy nor sad. Put him on, Zulu. I want to speak with this Bill Clinton. Okay, Clinton. 
Who are you? <laughs> what are you? What's your game taking over the White House? And what have you done with that nice President Bush? Bush, George Bush, sort of a tall, thin guard sort of a guy, thin rim glasses, went like this with his arms a lot. Not the one before, that was Reagan, always had that search me look. <laughs> Search me. I didn't know what was going up. Not him, the one after him. Bush, George Bush, always had his wife Barbara with him with a white curly hair and all. Him. What have you done with him, Flim Pom? Speak. <laughs> well, I guess we had him removed. I remember his last three words. Read my lips. <laughs> Nobody could, because we taped them up. <laughs> and I've been watching your lips, Clinton. You can't smile correctly. Your face is somehow stuck in a permanent half smile. I think that's because there's a flaw in that latex rubber mask you have on. Come on, take out the mask, Clinton, and let's see what lies beneath. Ten to one is a lizard, Jim. Shut up, Scotty. <laughs> Take off the mask. Okay. You asked for it. Here goes. Get a load of this. Myself. <laughs> 